Here is number three from the exam. So this is a polar coordinates problem. And it's one of my favorites. You know, it has the airplane. Y'all know I like to pick those. So the airplane's traveling along its dashed path here. And it says, during a portion of a vertical loop, the airplane flies in this arc. It's got a radius row of 600 meters. It's got a constant speed of 400 kilometers per hour. And when it says, when the airplane is at A, the angle made by the velocity vector with the horizontal is 30 degrees. And it shows it right here. And it says radar tracking gives the R value to equal 800 and theta to be 30 degrees. So R is just this radial distance from the tracker to the plane, and then here's that theta. We want to find four things, VR, V theta, AR, and theta double dot. All right, so before we get started, let's write down the equations for VR. Remember, that's equal to R dot. V theta, that's R theta dot. AR going to be r double dot minus r theta dot squared and then finally a theta that one's r theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot all right so we've got that next thing i want to do before i forget let's convert this v over to meters per second all right it's just something i like to do i mean there's nothing wrong with keeping it in kilometers per hour but typically when you're dealing with a theta dot or theta double dot, you're gonna have it in seconds, right? You don't usually see something that's radians per hour. So it's always a good idea just to switch this over to meters per second. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide by 3.6, all right? And that'll take it to meters per second. All right, so let's say 400 over 3.6. That is going to give me 111.11 meters per second. Okay, so now I've got my preliminary stuff done. Now let's see what we need to do. Now VR, we're looking for that. It's R dot. But if you look, I'm not given an equation for R. That's a function of time, right? I just have this one value. And this was just a value at this one instant in time. So I'm not going to be able to use anything that we were given to find VR. So we got to do something different. So what we're going to do is let's draw out this little system and we'll label some things. So there's R, here's theta, and then let's put the velocity vector right here. Remember that's going to be the 111.11 meters per second. and put this blue dashed line. It's going to be the horizontal. This angle right here is told to be 30 degrees. And let's draw a vertical. This angle here is theta. Theta is 30 degrees also. Okay, so now I've got that. So hopefully when you look at this, you see something similar to like you would have in statics where you have a force and you're looking for the X and the Y components. It's the same thing here, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to split this velocity up into R and theta components. Okay, so same concept as breaking a force into X and Y components, except for this time we've got R and theta for the axes and we have a V. Okay, so this one right here would be VR. This here would be V theta. Okay. Now, before we can actually do that, though, I need to get an angle that relates the velocity vector to the R and theta system. So the easiest one to find would be this angle right here. Okay. And if you notice, these right here are parallel, not parallel, perpendicular, right? So if they're perpendicular, the sum of all the angles there has to be 90, so that means this has got to be 30. Now we're ready to break this up into components. So VR is going to be V, which is the 111.11, cosine 30. Right, and then that value is 96.22 meters per second. All right, so now we've got that. And remember, this is R dot in case we need it later. 
Now let's do the same thing for V theta. So now I want to find the theta component. So that's going to be V, so 111.11 meters per second, and now we're going to have sine 30. Like that. And this is 55.56 meters per second. Now remember, this is V theta. V theta is also R theta dot. All right. So from this, we can get theta dot if we need it. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so it's meters per second. It's going to equal R, which is 800. And then we got theta dot. So theta dot then is going to be 0 0.069 radians per second. And we'll hold on to that and see if we need it. Alright, so two down. Now we got to go to AR. So now let's draw the acceleration on here. Now it doesn't tell us anything about the acceleration, right? But we do know it's flying in an arc with a radius of 600. So hopefully when you see that piece of information there and you see this curved path it should tell you to look at normal acceleration so that means we're going to have an a n going in that direction and towards the center of curvature there and let's put that on this picture here and then we find a different color to use let's see We'll use this green one here. Okay, so we have this AN. All right, on the video, that looks the same as the other color, right? But this is green, this over here is purple. Okay, so now we have AN, and it's going to be directed like this. All right, and this angle here is going to be 30 degrees. All right, so we have that. And I know. This is 30 degrees because remember, this would be our tangent axis. That would be the normal axis, right? So this orange line right here would be the tangent. That would be the normal. So those would have to have a 90 degree angle between them. So we already knew we had 60 here, so that's going to give me 30 right there. All right, and then now that we have that, we can find our components. All right, and if we extend that theta axis to the negative side over here, we're going to have an A theta right here. All right, and then we're going to have an AR right there. So now let's write that out. So AR is going to be this AN. We'll find the value for it in just a second. So AN, and then we're going to use cosine 60, right? Because you have 30 plus 30 here. Now let's find AN. So remember AN is V squared over rho. V is the 111.11. We square that, put it over rho. Rho is given as 600 meters right here. And then that's a n. So we take that, multiply by cosine 60. You're going to get 10.29 meters per second squared. So now we got that one. Not too bad, right? Okay. And again, we had to do this because I couldn't find r double dot. Right? I had nothing given to me so that I could find that. So I had to find some other way to do it. So if you can't solve using these equations, you should always be able to do something like this where you can break up the acceleration vector into components. Now for the next part, I want to find theta double dot. Okay, so let's figure out where theta double dot is. It's right here. So that means if I can find a theta, I already know r dot, I already found theta dot, so then I'll be able to find this theta double dot. So let's do that. So a theta is right here. Okay. Notice this is a negative. 
because it's in that negative theta direction. So here we're going to have negative a n, and then that's going to be um, sine 60 or cosine 30, however you want to write it. All right, so now we've got that. And we need to plug in our a n value. So we'll have negative 111 squared over 600 meters. And then you put sine 60. That's going to give you negative 17.82. Now with this, we'll set it equal to this expression. All right, and there you have that. And now you just need to plug in your values that you know. All right, so R was given as 800. Um, by the way, this is meters per second squared here. I'm terrible about my units. Okay, so negative 17.82 meters per second squared is going to equal 800 meters. I need theta double dot. That's what I'm looking for. So let's just put theta double dot plus 2 times r dot which is right here. 96.22 and then times theta dot which is right here. 0.069 radians per second. Now one unknown, one equation. So we can solve. And you're going to get negative 0 0.039 radians per second squared. And that's it. All right. So now that's how you can go through and solve for all those unknowns. All right. Well, that was the end of the test. So hopefully all that made sense. And I will see you all next time.